In this segment of the recordings, we review the features and functions of the Visible Analyst repository. This project, labeled DMV, models the various aspects of a Registry of Motor Vehicles Department, an organization most users are familiar with. Selecting File, Open Diagram displays a list of the models and model types supported by the Visible Analyst. These include the UML diagram types, business process models, strategic systems analysis, and design objects. Every line and symbol used on one of these methodology diagrams maintains a repository entry. Selecting the Options Object Browser menu item displays the object browser, listing all the items identified and defined within our repository. Double-clicking on one of the Entity Relationship Diagram names opens up that diagram, and you'll notice that the object browser changes, so only those items applicable to be used on or associated with an Entity, license, an entity Relationship Diagram are displayed. Objects can be dragged directly from the object browser and added into the diagram. To access the repository, double-click on the item name in the object browser, select Repository Define, right mouse click on an object and choose Define, or simply just double-click on the object to display its repository entry. The Define Item screen is the main screen for our repository. The various tabs allow you to specify additional information for the specific object. In this case, we have the label, the entry type, a description field. Because this is an entity, up to 10 alias names can be defined and used when you're generating SQL DDL. The attributes are the attributes for this particular entity. Clicking the search button will display a list of objects that can be used in the composition field of this entity. Simply double click on the entry to add it to the select section of the dialog, click select, and that element is added into the composition field of this entity. When I save the entry, I can double click on the address field here. We update the location reference for this particular element to show it's now used in the entity driving lesson. Notice that this element is also used in a data structure, a class, and activity. If I change the definition or physical characteristics of this particular object from variable character length of 30 to 39, I don't have to go to each one of these objects, I just make the change in one place. Clicking the back button navigates me back to the entity where I started from. The locations tab shows me where the object is used, the relationships maintained for this entity. The links tab shows me any linkages to the planning statements. Again, I can just drag a planning statement and I link it to this particular entity. The keys tab allows me to specify primary and alternate keys as well as performance indices. The foreign keys tab shows me the referential integrity specifications for this item as well as selecting and migrating the primary key from the parent to the child table. We can also specify triggers and check constraint information for this particular entity. As you notice, right mouse clicking and going back to the description tab brings me back here when I double click on the address element again, notice the tabs change to physical characteristics, links, extended attributes, and the user attributes. Clicking back brings me back to the entity again. You can navigate and set up search criteria within the repository via the search criteria button, selecting the diagram type as the scope, and selecting all the items based on that scope. So if I change the scope to Entity Relationship, I can specify that the only items going to be displayed in the repository would be the entity objects. When I click OK, click Next, I'm only displaying the entities, not the actual data elements themselves. The repository maintains support for hyperlinks. As you notice here, I can link to any document, Excel spreadsheet, worldwide web page, any application that has been registered on the local PC. Once I have the information defined in the repository, I'm able to produce a report to show where that information is used, again selecting the scope based on either the model type or by entries in the entire repository. 
for all the fields used for all the object types supported in the visible analyst. I can select the actual fields and only those fields that I select will be included on the general report. That was a very quick overview of the Visible Analyst Repository. Thank you very much.